Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to talk to you about trying to add meta tags to your HTML code using Microsoft Publisher. Now, Microsoft Publisher has a button that's a little bit misleading called Add HTML Fragment. And so here we are inside of Publisher, and this is a pre-generated site using one of their templates. And over here on the side, you can see this button that says HTML Code Fragment. Now, if you click on that and you try to paste something in, I've got another editor over here, and I've copied this meta tag. And I'm going to come into Publisher, and we'll paste it. And so there you go. We have a meta tag. We're adding it to our site. So you say OK. But in fact, it thinks that it's all text, because it doesn't recognize the meta tag as a content tag. That's because it's not a content tag. You can't actually get your hands onto the behind the scenes tags, like the header tag and the body tag and the meta tags from inside of Publisher. You can add content tags and things that contain like JavaScript and stuff like that, but it has to be related to content. So the only way that you would be able to add a meta tag would be to uh, come over here to your website options and press the preview your website button and it pops it up inside of a browser. You right click any place and say view page source. <clears throat> and here's the code behind the web page that uh, Microsoft has generated for us. You would select all of this and copy it into a notepad or something like that where you can actually hard code and you would have to put your meta tag in that way. Save the document again and bring it back into Publisher. So it's kind of a little bit messy, kind of a roundabout way to go about it, but Publisher doesn't actually give you access to the behind the scenes code from inside of itself. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to add meta tags to your web page using Publisher. I'm Josiah Ray.